Why did aircraft have tail-mounted engines? Let me explain. In the early days of jet aviation, many aircraft were designed with engines mounted at the rear of the fuselage or on the tail. But why? One of the biggest reasons was ground clearance. Jet engines in the 1960s and 70s were large in diameter and required significant space. Mounting them under the wings risked the engines striking the ground during taxi, takeoff, or landing. Tail-mounted engines solved this by placing them high above the runway, improving safety. But that wasn't the only benefit. With the engine placed far back, the wings remained aerodynamically clean, free of engine mounts, allowing for simpler wing construction and less interference with airflow. The design also helped reduce cabin noise as the engines were positioned behind the passenger section. However, this layout made maintenance more challenging since accessing tail-mounted engines required special equipment, and in the event of an engine failure, handling could be more difficult due to the asymmetrical thrust at the rear. Eventually, improvements in engine design, wing strength, and landing gear clearance made 